Hi everyone. Welcome again to Jazz Remote Sensing and Environmental Solution channel. In this video, I will show you how to download high resolution NetCDF monthly rainfall data for the whole world, how to process daily NetCDF file, separate and composite band, how to calculate annual rainfall convert raster to point data and finally how to perform interpolation and make annual rainfall map layout according to the area of interest hope you will enjoy and it will be useful for you write cru data and then click high resolution gridit data set After that uh, you will get this interface here uh, this version released 17 March 2021 and covers the period 1901 to 2020 here uh, there is a local copy click on this and then uh, main grid data click on this data variables here you will uh, find a uh, different data set cloud uh, precipitation and uh, so on click on uh, precipitation as we need uh, precipitation data so uh, from here click uh, 2020 data set our data has downloaded now uh, i'm extracting the data here is the data set that uh, i have downloaded open arc map and then uh, go to toolbox and then multi-dimension tools and then make net cdf raster layer from uh, input data input the raster file that uh, you have downloaded variable precipitation x dimension y dimension output layer band dimension select time and then click ok uh, i'm adding a study area shape file export data then extent according to data frame save uh, the output file i'm going to rename it to uh, layer 2012 to 2020 then click save yes the previous one uh, i'm deleted zoom to layer properties source you can see here the special reference wgs 984 so i'm going to change the data frame according to the projected coordinate system utm northern hemisphere 46 north utm And then again go to uh, data and then special reference according to data frame special reference has been changed i'm going to rename it and projected file 
then click save i'm going to delete the previous file Uh, I want to prepare annual rainfall map for 2020. Uh, here we have a 10 years data that starts from 2011 to 2020. So 10 uh, into 12 uh, equal uh, on 20 bands total. so uh, i have to select last 12 bands from uh, 109 109 to 120 trading 12 bands then go to data management tools and then raster then raster processing and composite bands click on composite bands add all of them here and uh, output raster save uh, your output raster in a folder of your pc can give it a name and then click ok I don't need this uh, this band so I'm deleting and then go to special analyze tools and then local then cell statistics input raster uh, and then uh, write a name for output raster annual rainfall 2020 overall statistics then here sum I mean monthly to annual then click OK it has done and now conversion tools from raster raster to point input raster add input raster and then output raster select the folder and give it a name annual annual rainfall 20 then click ok point has been created Here is our study area. Make it hollow. And uh, then go to special analysis tools and then interpolation. You can do it uh, using IDW or clinging. Uh, so I'm using IDW input raster add input raster you can see here grid code z value so select grid code as z value field then output raster select the folder where you want to save your file and uh, rename it or give it a name 
I'm going to give it a name annual rainfall 20 output uh, cell size I'm giving a uh, 90 as output cell size then environments processing extent it will be according to uh, my study area study area boundary and then raster analysis cell size ninety and max data will be according to study area then click OK the IDW has been done I mean interpolation has been done according to the data now uh, create map layout I think it is very easy for you first uh, give a title from insert title annual rainfall 2020 then go to properties and then change symbol you can increase or decrease the symbol size then ok ok and then insert a legend annual rainfall then next click on properties then symbology classes I'm selecting six classes then format labels three okay you can change the color annual rainfall 20 then go to properties general for legend you can uh, increase the size legend font size and then items level I have selected 16 you can edit as per your preference and then not the arrow you can select scale bar you can edit from properties division in it kilometer or miles for from format you can increase the size grid levels only appearance then next next properties click ok now I can edit from properties again from labels You can change the font size, level offset, level orientation. You 
then also intervals and so many items uh, you will find from here you can save the map as uh, export map in several formats jpg png and so many uh, format resolution you can increase or decrease the regular resolution for final output app selected uh, 600 for map resolution and then save so here is our final output annual rainfall 2020